A woman has been experiencing strange activity in her home ever since she moved in. She often hears disembodied footsteps along with noticing objects moved from their original position. She didn't think much of it until her dog began acting very strange. Most of the mysterious activity took place outside her room, but one evening, that would all change. When she was getting ready for bed, she noticed her dog was infatuated with something in the corner of her room, which looked the same as any other night to her. She grabbed her phone and recorded the following. Bruh. What do you see? Oh my god. What? Girl? You're gonna get me scared. Just moments into the video, we can see her dog doing a double take towards the door. She is clearly on edge and unsure of the situation. Seconds after she jumps up on the bed and gets in a defensive posture, making sure she is between the threat and her owner. Many people in the comment section are convinced her dog was protecting her from an evil paranormal entity that night. A man was relaxing at home one evening when he noticed something disturbing on his security camera. There had been several break-ins in the neighborhood he lived in, so he decided to set up some cameras for extra security. As he looked at his monitor, he noticed two men standing just outside the fence to his property. It didn't take long for him to confront the two strangers and to investigate the situation further. He heads into his truck to turn on the lights to get a better view of them, but is soon unnerved by what takes place after. As he locks his truck with the remote, the lights flash on two figures standing just outside his property. The two figures don't appear to flinch, so he decides to head out and tell them to get off his property. He eventually heads into his truck to turn on the headlights, but when he does, they completely vanish to his surprise. What is most intriguing is that the two figures appeared in the beginning when the headlights were on them. But when he does it a second time, they completely vanish, almost as if they were spirits. Two friends were relaxing at an Airbnb one night when they began to notice their dog acting very strange. The dog is usually very calm and never makes noises, so they were surprised when the dog was so animated. They weren't aware of anything unusual about the place, especially if it was haunted or not. Their dog was fixated on something near the kitchen, but when they looked in the general area, they were unable to see anything out of the ordinary. Shocked at the dog's behavior, they grabbed their phone and started to record. The dog appears to sense something in the direction of the kitchen. After a few moments, it quickly runs in the other direction, once the dog turns around, a shadow can be seen making its way toward the dog which spooks it even more. As the camera pans back there is clearly nothing in the general direction. Many people in the comment section are convinced she captured paranormal activity, while the skeptics are certain it was simply the piece of paper lifting up on the table since the dog ran past it. The Wells family were experiencing strange activity in their house back in 2011. The encounters were well documented, from a seance that went horribly wrong, to household appliances turning off and on with no one around. They moved out of their house for a brief period of time since the activity was becoming unbearable. When they returned, they were under the assumption that everything would go back to normal. 
They were hosting a birthday party for one of the children when the family got the scare of a lifetime. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay. Why you that, girl? All she gonna right. blow that? Yeah. You gonna cut the cake out, Mama, or you want me to? Go ahead, I'm running the camera. Alrighty. Daddy's cutting the cake. Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh my god, damn. It ain't gonna mess everything up. It's gonna mess this up for Come everybody on. now. Come on, sissy. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. Heck, I'm sorry, baby. Seems like it's I'm messing so everything baby. in four seconds. It's okay. It'll be alright. God, okay. I wish you'd have had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay, it might it's not be anything else, okay? This stuff is starting again. I'm sorry, sweetie. You're okay. Chris? I'm so sorry. <laughs> As the family finishes the song for the birthday girl, the kitchen faucet turns on completely by itself. The young children seek protection from the adults but are unaware that the worst is yet to come. Moments later, the kitchen drawers begin to violently shake and eventually end up on the floor. The paranormal community is quite divided on whether this is one of the most compelling poltergeist encounters or whether it was a family member responsible for the elaborate hoax. Chris Hill from the popular YouTube channel Urbex Hill decided to explore the allegedly haunted grounds of Helltown, Ohio. Chris dedicates his channel to urban exploration and visiting some of the creepiest buildings on the planet. Helltown is an abandoned city that was discovered by Native Americans but were eventually forced out by settlers. Many believe that the land is cursed by the natives that once lived there due to being forced out of their homes. It wasn't long into his investigation when he began to suspect the rumors were true. The barn of Hilltown. As Chris enters the rundown building, he doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary, aside from his audio cutting out unexpectedly. He soon leaves the old building and heads down a dark path towards the next location. I'm surprised this barn is still standing despite how old it is. What the hell is that? Once Chris makes his way towards an old barn, he begins to hear strange howling off in the distance, which most likely was a pack of coyotes. He soon makes his way down a long, dark path towards the howling, but would soon discover something much more terrifying.
As Chris makes his way out of the woods and into the clearing, he notices two glowing eyes staring directly at him. He also notes that the figure must have been somewhere between six and eight feet tall in order to see over the tall grass. Could the city of Helltown be lurking with unknown cryptids, or is there a more reasonable explanation?